stood amongst the foggy, bleak countryside. This 16th century hall is now part of Brayercliffe in Burnley, but formerly situated in the now non-existent parish of Exwhistle. This historic hall and the land it was built on has survived almost every major incident over the past hundreds of years. According to details, the land was occupied by monks before it was constructed in 1585 by the Parker family. The monks had possession of this area of Kirkstall Abbey in Yorkshire and then the monks at Newbow Abbey in Lincolnshire throughout the whole of the medieval period. So the Parker family, they took possession of the house and the land after the dissolution of the monasteries by Henry VIII, giving possessions of Masonic lands over to the state. And in 1718, the Parkers left the hall for good, following the fire, and the entire estate was then sold off in the 1920s. I love the architecture and the way that they built these things. So we need to be careful. You need to look up as much as you look down. There is wiring in the building. Clearly, there was some form of electricity that was here. Now, I've put a camera up on the top there, and we've also got um, a trail camera, which we're going to set up somewhere in another room so we can see if we pick up on anything. So it's difficult to, to fathom at the moment. I'm assuming that would have been the hallway. The main hallway coming in. He's definitely got a good light, he's got a good camera. So Oliver's gonna, you're gonna go off now with yours. Sadly. <laughs> Let's get this on the way. I've got my phone which has got some ghost detecting equipment which we'll do in a minute. We'll have a little walk around the best way we can. Many spirits are about. We come here with absolute respect and we mean no harm. We're fascinated with history and it is a poor shame that this is in such a state and I hope the National Trust or somebody who ever owns it can Did you say that? Can Can Did you say that? Did you hear that? Did, uh, did you hear that? There was a fire by the way here Anyway carry on the, Yeah look at the floor in there The hall. Yeah, it's like a hallway, I guess. At least the stairs. Should we? Go on, you have a little bit of a bench. You look up before you look down. Look at this. I don't know if you. I can go through. Oh no, chance. Yeah. Do we can go around outside? I think you can go around. Oh, did you check out that building? Well, we can do that next. Yeah, it was, it was down there. You got outside. So that's the hallway from down there. Yeah. So clearly. That's, this is the run through the hallway. I'm assuming a scullery might be down there where they used to wash in and things like that. Normally an annex to the kitchen. Can we walk off in that direction? Look, that's where the uh, power thing, do you see that? Yeah, we'll get some shots of the electric. I know somebody uh, would be interested in this. I'm by myself. This is, oh, oh. <laughs> Now he uses sounds, noises, and to put them together. And the object of the game is you'll get all sorts of bits and bobs going on. But... The fire. Uh, I was enough, this place burnt down. Hello? Do you want to use this device to speak to us? That said the fire. Is that what he said? What he just said, there was a fire. <laughs> the echoes, I know it sounds spooky. Can you come forward and use this device to speak to us? <laughs> So 
So Captain Robert Parker, we come with absolute respect. I appreciate and respect the fact that this is your hall, this is your home. Can you come forward and speak to us? This is heavy. I'm holding up something that you might be familiar with. It in a wall. Supposed to be sounds. How many fingers have been held up? child. Hello. Can you wave at us? Could be off the camera. No, not really. Right. So. That was fair to say, as much as like a child, legend has it, and I can go into the story soon, that uh, potentially a child has been killed here. It's got words on this. Yeah. So, ghost tube. Listening. So, calling out to spirits, maybe lingering. Haunted. Oliver. What did it say? I was just about to say, is this haunted? I've used this at home, and I've never had anything from this. At I home. know. So, could you please use this device in my hand? My phone has just died. Hey. My phone's died. Is it? My phone's just died. Oh. It, it was on 50%. Yeah. <laughs> no, I can't I got that SLS. Oh, wait, it's restarting. Is it? It's restarting. It's gone so quiet. I know. Oh, I love this. It feels feel so weird that like the wire is just swinging left and right. Oh, it's just dropped to 11%. Was it? It was on 30. Oh my god. So, I'm calling out spirits. Parker family. And you're always connected with this property. Are you able to bring yourself forward to this device in my hand and give us a. a, a, a I'm trying to keep the camera still. I can't. I think my phone's just died. Again? It's just phones. I can't click anything. So yeah, he's got a REM pod, uh, which sends out of an electromagnetic field. And if anything comes near it, it'll trigger, it'll go off. Why don't you put it on that piece of wood? Mine is a nail sticking out of it. Oh, I see it, yeah. Hang on. Uh, yeah, it works. It should go off and anything goes near. The ram card is on that plank. I think you can see it. Focus. Yeah. On that wooden plank, right from the middle finger. Robert Parker, can you come forward? We've got multiple devices. We've got a REM pod, which can pick up if you go near it. A device on the floor down there. Is this the fire? Is this where the fire occurred? I'm too sure. I can't see any scorch marks or anything on the walls. Here's a fireplace, back room here. I can imagine someone sat here on the couch with a 63 inch plasma TV. Did you hear that? What happened? What did you hear? It sounded like someone walking up. No, when you lot went upstairs. Oh. That deep thud. Yeah. I mean, I just snapped a piece of wood. No, 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 it was like... Mm -hmm. It was on 30, like 58%, no, it, oh, it's on 1%. Yeah, it's back on. Oh, that's all Put the REM pod somewhere where that locked off camera can trigger oh, yeah. it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we'll get this camera, and then we'll try and move position. Right, okay. That was interesting. I didn't get it on camera because I was actually going to film Oliver putting that over there. Oliver clocked it before I did. It sounded like a cupboard door. That was over there. 
Yeah, I thought, what did you wear? I think, I got you. Yeah, like a door creaking. Cold. When I threw something before, that's when we got a response. I'm going to throw this stone. Are you, are you able to throw something, not at us, but near us or in another room so we can... That was something thrown. That was, it was like a little, it was like a tiny door. Oh my goodness, oh my That wasn't something falling, that was something throwing. Yeah. We've got activity now, thank God. Is that two? Uh, that two? was something, that like was a like, sharp. Yeah. Like it'd been. It's like something's happening in this room and something's happening in that room. Can you copy me, please? I've got a stone, I've got a rock. I'm gonna throw this. Can you throw something in the room as well like this? Are you staying shot? So I'm gonna throw this through there. Oh my days, what the hell was that? What the hell? I, I think I what was that? You go first. Is somebody there? When I was talking to camera before, it was over here I saw the shadowing. <laughs> Stables and barns over in that direction. Then we're going to have a little check out now. Uh, then we're going to have a cup of tea. Right. Freshen up, have a scone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it'll go dark then. Beef jerky. Got some beef jerky. and. Uh, have a have a look. I don't, do you know what? I, 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 I'm going to say this now, Oliver. But twice since I've been here, I honestly thought I saw something through there. Are you joking? No, seriously, through there, that gap there. It was like what you can see now, but it was darker. It was darker. The whole wall was darker, like like a big cloud or something. Jesus, don't say that. Right. So, as we were saying, we're going to uh, rest and recuperate. I'm going to do some um, general shots of it, of the outside. He did it again. Come here. Should we get out now? I think we should get out, you know. There must be something over there. I see it. I'm grabbing the stuff and I'm going. Don't take your eyes off. But that was really quick. What does it look like? It's like somebody walking past, but not there, walking past through the hallway further down, and it's a shadow effect. There must be something on that side. Can you copy me? Did you, Did you hear that? Did you hear that? That was on there. It sounded like it was over there. <laughs> um, yeah. That was over here. Alright, well, let's speak to you. Again. No, do it again, do it again, do it again. Alright, let me do it again. Uh, copy me again, please. <gasps> yep, 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 down there. Can you copy us? Not knock. Was it? I don't know. I heard it. I heard you can hear stuff over there. Where'd that come from? Please make a sound for us. Please knock on a wall that we're just doing then. <gasps> Holy moly! That's the first time that's gone off. Yes! What noise was that? It was like, what, what was that? Oh, 
scoreboard. I can't believe the rempod's just gone off. That's the first time it's ever done that. The rem pod is down there. I place it in the. That's the I've had that ages. And it's never, it's gone, never off. gone off. It's never gone off. It's never. It sets off an electromagnetic magnetic field. And when that gets disturbed, it triggers, it goes off like it did then. Do you know, we turned the camera off twice and we had something happen, but I'm, I'm happy we got the rem pod oh, yeah, going off. Like that was That's probably one of the best things. Right. We'll give it one more go. Yeah. It's getting dark and I'm I'm absolutely freezing. That's me. Hello. Ooh. We appreciate your time and your house. I'm sorry it's like this. And I really hope something can be done. But before we go. Did you do that quick? Before we do go, could you do something for us? There's a light coming off the near the chimney. That. Well, that was me, but that wasn't. Did you know, after that, it was yeah. like, boom. Yeah. Uh, oh, can you do that again, but try and turn it off? So all you have to do is press, push the button, and it will turn off. It was like. Can you do? So I got all the piece of wood. Please. There's us saying we're going, and we're still asking for more. <laughs> but I don't feel frightened. No. Yeah. I mean, I also get spooked. It's natural instinct. So I just threw my camera off the. Uh... Yeah, okay, you don't like my mobile phone. <laughs> if you get close and boy hard, you probably will. But I've got it. It's actually gone. Do it like really hard. That's over. Spot in the face. Let me just show. Look, put your torch on here. It's rested. The iPhone rests, and it comes out here goes down there so there's no way i'm gonna say that's something paranormal it's actually you can put it's not it's not like someone was on the other side careful not to touch the glass it was like poked here and it fell all that disgusting object that's interesting and i've got it rested it's actually it's rested in the corner there be careful because there is a nail did you just push my fold over Yeah, we're asking for stuff to happen and I'm expecting something like da, 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 da. but we just had that that's definitely been pushed that is weird you, that's you definitely got that been pushed well. yeah that's that Hello? Is anyone here? I just got spat on. Spat on? I don't know, is it raining? It's not. No? I've just got a watermark. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah. I felt the outside. Could be somewhere off the roof. But I've, I've kind of respect now the amount of hours and patience you need absolute patience 
and I think the property like this that might have residual energy or it might have some activity, ghosts can just be like us. Sometimes they just can't be asked. Definitely not asked. Yeah. climb up just up there which isn't so bad it's actually more sturdy than you think it is quite sturdy Oliver could hear he said a woman's voice talking from in here somewhere in here so whereabouts we had the camera off as well I can't believe that it was, it like it was, uh, I don't know it was, like, it was a woman's voice it was definitely a woman's voice I don't know something about outside but I heard a woman's voice and she said something. And it's gone really, really cold. Yeah. Really cold. That wind's proper picking up. Just to give you a hint and uh, uh, just to show you, let me show you what we're faced with out here with the weather. It is sunny, but oh, it's going foggy. It's it might be a well. Sometimes they had wells, didn't they? Plenty of brick buildings and stuff that are lying around here. Just from a, an appreciation point of view, it's worth... Oh, sorry about the sun. Coming to see this. Well, you can see the, the fog going over the top of the... The fog seems to be building. The fog seems to be building. There, can you see a lot of fog all over there? Oh. This is We've entered the building on the left hand side and gone up the staircase and back again. Um, this must have been like a little granny style room. But uh, I'll tell you what is interesting railway sleepers. <coughs> It's what the Oliver loves, and that's jerky. Don't you? Oh. It was his beef jerky. So, just said we'd just come out. There's a barn unit over there. I'm not too sure what the script is with that. Gotta be careful, make sure we're not trespassing. There is a farm, it's just over there, the dog barking, so. I'm gonna uh, put a link in the description area down below with some photographs and some of the information that we've been talking about. And have a look at the pictures, see if you can see spookies. If you can, make sure you comment down below. And please subscribe. It makes it all worth the while. Sorry about the wind. We've had a little look around. Uh, there is a door that's ajar that could be pushed open, but we don't want to push our luck. We don't know if this is really connected to that. We're not going to investigate this bit here. Yep, recording. All right. Night mode. I feel like something's like hurting me. In my stomach. So we're back again. We said we weren't, we were going, but we thought we'd give it a blast. Oh, it's cold. It's freezing. It's freezing. So if the camera's not still. Please use this device in my hand to communicate with us. Smoke. Smoke. Yes, I just heard smoke. You all near that? That was a cough. Yeah, I, I, yeah, that does sound like a cough. It's me. What? He's his. He said something. He's. No, I thought it's it said me. He's my son. 
Can you tell me his name? Did you? Did you? No, no, no. Oh, he said Oliver Fuzz. How did I know me? What's my name? Not clue. Father's something. Yeah, I heard father. So, how many fingers have I got up? How many fingers? Try the other thing that gives words. Uh, yeah, I thought you do the one that gives words and I'll try SOS. Well, words oh, this thing's great. Yeah. Okay. Can you try and choose a word on this machine? A word that may be relevant to this place or to you? We'll do the necrophonics thing. Who are they? Who are they? Who are they? It's like they're talking to each other. My name's Gordon, this is Oliver. Thank you. That must have been so dirty. Burn from a gunpowder in the pocket. Captain Robert Parker, are you able to talk to us? Can you come forward? Make communication with me. Can you make a noise? Strange noises. Footsteps, bangings and clangings. Either way, on March the 17th, 1718, Captain Robert Parker had been out shooting when the weather turned very nasty. When he came home, he hung his coat up in front of the fire, forgetting he had a flask of gunpowder in the pocket, which exploded. The hall was damaged by the explosion and the fire raged through, so the family had to abandon the hall following his death and just a few weeks before his death when he returned from one of the meetings he came across a goblin funeral procession at the top of Netherwood Fields. His own name was inscribed on the coffin lid and he saw this as an omen of his own fate. According to the story he severed his Jacobite connections but that didn't save his life.